I think my mother wanted me to go to school, but uh, I went in the, in the September before I was That's five. Right, yeah. And uh, um, the teacher was was very good actually at the time. She well, uh, we had all sorts of educational values, shall I say? But, uh, so I mean, some never could learn anything at all. They were really quite dumb in that respect. I remember a, a big girl in particular. She couldn't read anything. She I had to move her up in the end because she was so big, you see. So, but I remember Miss Richards, that was the head teacher, saying to Mrs. Shelley, you'll have to have her, and she said, what shall I do? I always remember that point of view. But uh, the girls had needlework once a week, and then Mrs. Shell took the boys outside and did the headmistress's garden that time. The two, the, the standard two and standard one girls all moved together for needlework, and the boys that went to Mrs. Shale to do the garden. And if it was wet, I don't know what they did, they books, I think, or something like that. I can't remember. But the toilets were outside. Mm -hmm. you know, the boys were in the playground, but the girls were right back past the mistress's house. Long walk we had, it was wet. There, there was a tank on the roof for soft water to cold water, but of course that ran out in the summer. But uh, they had the Mrs. Shale, the teacher, husband made her a metal trough, and she filled that with water and stood it on the, the stove. We had a big stove in the middle, you see, and uh, she, she, we'd stand behind her when she'd washed her hands for dinner, queued up to get this warm water to wash her hands. See. Just one coke stove against the wall to heat the whole of the room. And they, oh, there was one in the infant's class as well. They had one. So that had to be stoked up occasionally, of course. But the, I think the headmistress had a, a cleaner who lived nearby and she did these sort of things. I think she was a school cleaner as well. The, the, port, the entrance porch was um, start tiles on it. To rent it in. The first section was the boys' pegs, and the next one was the, the girls. And the, the infants were at the end, I think, because the teachers had to put their coats on for them. Uh, we, 12 o'clock school finished, started again at half past one. People from long distance took their sandwiches and had them in the infants' room. The rest of us went home. I took sandwiches when my mother was uh, fully lit lived at, uh, in the workhouse and uh, you, you sat in there, there was generally a, a teacher on duty there uh, to, to make sure you didn't get up to fighting or anything of that sort. But you had to take your turn to sweep up the crumbs and uh, into an ash pan, a little brush with that. And then school started again half past one until quarter, quarter to four and then we had a half about 20 minute break in between those. It was uh, went outside and if it was fine, played in the marbles and in, these things had the turn of bowls, 